Hey, what's up guys? It's Bridget. Welcome back. So today we are doing a fall decor haul. Now, I don't usually do haul videos on my channel or like decor videos on my channel, but I was out decor shopping yesterday trying to get like some new pieces for the set so it wouldn't be the same thing we see every single day. And um, I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see the haul. You said yes, so we're doing it. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Really quickly before we get started, I do want to burst in and give a couple shout outs to people who donated coffee to my channel. So the first one is Priscilla Diaz. Thank you so much. The next one is Vladislava. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And the biggest shout out of all to Jennifer and Bradley who are so generous and I cannot even thank you guys enough. So thank you so much. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, so we do have two fashion things before we get into like fall decor. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way. The first thing is a cute little skater dress by Dolls Kill. Well, it's from Dolls Kill. Yeah. The, yeah, it's by Dolls Kill. It is a cute skater dress. Let me show you farther away. So this is the dress. It is just a skater type dress. And I just thought it was super cute. I made sure to get like a way larger than normal size because Dolls Kill runs everything so tiny. And I'm usually a medium, I could fit a couple of their medium dresses, but I got a large in this because I didn't want it to be too short. And a lot of their stuff is too short, so be careful if you are shopping on Dolls Kill. And, um, don't want to be scandally clad with your butt showing. So the next thing I'm going to show you isn't, like, fall-themed at all. But since I don't have that much of a winter wardrobe, I figured this would be something cool and kind of lightweight that maybe in the end of October and stuff, when you need, like, a little bit of a jacket, I can wear this. And this is a diva jacket! I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. Um, it says, I played a win on the sleeves. And I think this one says Mecca. Yeah, and it has the, the diva logo and the cute pockets. And it has, like, cute everything. And it's got a diva bunny hood. The back of it has, like, this on it. I don't, I mean, some of you guys know this, but I play Overwatch every day. And diva is my main. And this matches my custom diva keyboard. So, uh, I, I love it. Except I got an extra large because everything I order from China, because I got this off eBay, it was coming from Hong Kong, runs super, super small, especially on me. Um, so I got an extra large, and I really shouldn't have. I should have just gotten a large um, because the sleeves are very, very baggy. I probably could fit a medium, too. It's just the sleeves are really baggy, but it's not too long. So I'm still going to wear it, and it's super cute, but it'll take forever to come in. All right, so let's get into the decor type of stuff. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite. And I fell in love. I tried to leave the store without it, but I couldn't. And this made me feel so old. I'm like, I'm still young. I'm still I'm still in my 20s. I'm still young and youthful. And no, Bridget, you fell in love with a wreath. This is said wreath, though. I'm not sure which way it's up. I'm going to say this is up. This is the wreath. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you guys how in love with this I am. I think it's like the pastel minty kind of colors in here. And you got cute little pumpkins and, like, little baby pumpkins. It's just so pretty. I love these flowers. Like, everything about this, except I'm not crazy about the sunflower. That's the only thing on it. It's just so beautiful. Like, I'm in love. It was $20 at TJ Maxx, $19.99. And, um, I regret nothing. I'll keep this out all year long because it's so cute. Like, I never want to spend $20 on a wreath because it just sits there, you know? But I think I found my soulmate in, like, home decor. Alright, so moving on to, like, Halloween-y type of things. First thing we have here is this cute little sign I got from the Halloween store. It was $1.99. It just says boo. I just thought it was really cute. And it was cheap, so I was like, okay, I can hang you on a door. Maybe put you in the background for Halloween. I just thought it was super cute. And it's really thin, so it'd be easy to store the rest of the year. Because I don't want to get something super bulky and then never have room to store it, you know? Um, next up is from Ross. This was $7.99, and it is a Mystery Curiosities Vampire Bat Dark and Mysterious Scented Candle. It's supposed to be pumpkin peppercorn scented. I got it for the aesthetics of it. It's so cute. Um, it smells fine. I'm not really, like, a spicy candle kind of person. But it's so cute, and also, if I burn it and I use it, I want the container afterwards, like, with the cool vampire bat on it. It's really cute, and I figure if I put it on, like, my little table down here, it look kind of witchy. 
That'd be awesome. So it is staying in this room for like the filming set. I thought it was really cute and it was $7.99. Not bad. Like it's it's got some weight to it. It's a lot of candle to burn too. So I feel like for seven bucks it's worth it. Okay, the other thing I got from the Halloween store is this scene setter. Um over five feet tall canvas. It was $14.99. Um Yeah. <laughs> it's just a piece of cloth canvas that has blood splatter on it. I figure I could kind of hang it up and use it a backdrop if I do any um Halloween type looks even though I'm really nervous about doing like gory bloody makeups for Halloween because I don't want to get demonetized um so I just thought it was really a good deal $14 five feet tall even if I have to double layer it um because it's very thin it should be able to work so it smells weird but I got a background if I need it other Halloween stuff I got three things from Target that were Halloween related this is a black glitter, glitter tree I thought it was $3. It was $5. It is very glittery, very sparkly. I figured this would also look good on that table back there. Just kind of like a spooky moment. Uh, I had to make sure I get one that didn't have glue showing. So there's like a lot of hot glue strings on some of these. But it's just a little black glitter tree. And also it was only 5 bucks, So I can just donate it somewhere after I'm done. I don't have to hoard it for a year for decor reasons, you know? Uh, next up is this little jar. This was $4. It says bat split and it has like a little skull on the top. I love the purple and I thought the bat thing would really match the other candle. And I love the purple. Like the purple and blue. Like that's so cute. I'm not the biggest fan of the skull on the top. I would kind of prefer it was just like a regular kind of pull off bottle. But I figured it was awesome and I could probably put like something in here. Like Q-tips or something if I wanted to. But I just thought it was cute. Um, The other little tiny thing I got from Target was this pumpkin. It was a... $3 little succulent. They had three different versions of it. This was the last one of these, so I kind of figured it was meant to be. And I thought it was adorable with, like, the yellow and gold and the little black pumpkin base. I want to get some more of these, but Target was running really low on these things for some reason. Like, maybe these are very popular and popping this year, but I thought it was adorable. And I had to have it. And also, like, oh, that would look cute in my hair if it didn't have a base. So, that was weird for me to say, but it's true. Um, the last thing I got was this Project 62 wall decor. It's for the backdrop, but it's not Halloween related, but it is, I'm going to put like a succulent in it, hopefully. It was 14 or $12, I think it was $12. doesn't say it up here, but it just looks like this. It's a little wall hanging thing. I'm going to put a succulent in it, because obviously I like succulents. And I thought it was really cute. White and gold is very much uh, my house decor anyways. I have a ton of white and gold stuff. Um, like the whole second set that we never go to for some reason named more Bridget. Why? I don't know. Is white and gold with like pink accents. So I love white and gold. I thought this would be really cute. It's got some weight to it. And I feel like even if I don't use it as a backdrop, I can use it in the rest of the house maybe. So I thought that was really cute. That is it for all of my home decor. This is a very short video. I am sorry. But, I don't know. I really like fall stuff. I want to get more. I need to go to Hobby Lobby and see what they have for, like, wall pieces. Because Hobby Lobby has the best canvases and stuff. When you were, if you were thinking about starting a YouTube channel, and you were thinking of making a little fake set like I have, don't use anything that has glass in it because your lights will reflect. So that's a lot of the reasons I don't change the pictures too often and stuff. is because they have to be mats, like canvases, stickers uh shelves and stuff anything with glass pictures and stuff you can't use because it just you see the reflect all the time and it's not cute so hopefully i can find something at hobby lobby unfortunately they are closed on sunday so i can't go in there today but hopefully i will have a nice fall beautiful set for you soon i love you guys so much thank you for watching today's video if you do fall decor shopping let me know how it's going for you this is my first year shopping for fall decor and i thoroughly enjoyed doing it <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.